been a nightmare for both of us I hope that one day you feel my gratitude This has put a dent in our path How can I pave a way to our new future? I'm lost in my pain and fear you won't want to wait Wait for me, please wait for me I hope that I am worth the wait Wait for me Two years ago, I was in a horrible accident. A car, basically, I was in a crosswalk and a car ran over my legs. I was pretty banged up. And I have always loved singing, always took singing lessons, and even in the hospital started to come up with this song just in my head. but never wrote my own songs and about six or eight weeks after the accident I had a singing teacher come to my house I couldn't walk the first song I wrote was called I got run over by an SUV and then it just every few weeks or months I'd come up with another song and each song is a development of my recovery Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, that was a good one. Did you, were you happy with yours? I was yours? happy with mine, I was okay. happy with mine, yeah. Can we hear it? Yeah. I was playing golf in Sharon, Mass. Just finished the 18th hole, went out to my car to check my cell phone. And I got a message from a stranger saying, your wife was run over by a car and she's at Mass General Hospital. And then I went to Mass General Hospital and saw her bruised, cut, broken, uh, concussion. Um, she was fighting for understanding of why this happened to her on a crosswalk at a stop sign that she was crossing the street and this girl didn't stop, went through the crosswalk, made a turn, ran over her legs with both wheels, front and back and gave her a concussion as her head hit the car. And she just kept on going for about 100 yards until she stopped trying to understand what happened. It was horrific. She needed something that was cathartic to really get rid of the pain that she suffered mentally and physically. And thus she started writing songs. This is my song book and um... I should probably, it kind of has all my notes on where to take my breath and, and what the song's all about. I mean, I know I wrote the song. I know I came up with it and I should probably be able to memorize it, but it doesn't really happen. <laughs> One, two, three.
teacher Jack has been incredible with me throughout the whole process and kind of helped me figure out the stages of how to put together an album, um, a professional album with musicians and so he introduced me to Mary, the piano player, and uh, the drummer, Matt, and uh, we've been practicing, rehearsing, and today's a big day, and try to nail it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name's Jack Byrne. I'm a uh, musician, singer-songwriter, uh, music teacher, uh, yeah, Megan's teacher. My dad's a guitar player, um, and we kind of grew up at my house like kind of just doing sing-alongs all the time. Uh, all my siblings play instruments. Um, yeah, I've, I've been playing since I was 10. As a songwriter myself, I, I get, you know, the idea of putting, uh, you know, emotion into a song and expressing the, the deepest uh, feelings you have uh, into music. Um, and, you know, just everything that Megan's been through and the way she's been able to put it into song, it's really, really been impressive to me as a teacher and a songwriter as well. She's come a long way, you know, that the, the you know, what happened to her really, you know, shook her up and, and I think she's, I've witnessed her kind of uh, heal throughout that whole process um, and kind of find like a newfound confidence as well um, in both just like in life but also in her musical abilities and in her voice, you can hear it as well. Uh, next song we're going to do is Crushed. It's cool. my uh, favorite tune. It's a big one. My faith has been crushed My faith has been crushed How will I find my way Back to believing My faith has been crushed my faith has been crushed how will i find my way back to believing i feel like everybody goes through tragedy and everybody goes through illness and horrible experiences in their life and Music has been such a healing way for me to express all that I've been through. Luckily, not too many people get run over by a car, but it's been so incredible to be able to express how I feel through the music. One thing that I'm very grateful about the accident is that it has really gotten me to appreciate life every day, every moment. We never know what's going to happen. And singing, it just feels so alive and so real and so perfect in a way. Um, you know, when I nail a song and just write a song that just moves me, it feels good. It feels healing. So it feels uh, pretty incredible to have my voice on tape and you know I've been thinking about this for a long time and to actually hear them is kind of mind-blowing yeah a lot of emotions um, you know, going back to how I felt when I wrote the songs it's you know gut-wrenching at times and I can't believe how far I've come and you know just kind of dreaming about the possibility is scary and exciting of what i could do with my music but i realize how important it is for me to create music and i was thinking last night that i remember as a kid always wanting to be judy garland like i always wanted to sing and dance and be in the wizard of oz and sing somewhere over the rainbow and I just can barely believe that I actually wrote all these songs and sang them and that they're a real live thing. Oh
the days in the studio have really helped me come full circle to you know where I started where I am now and how lucky I am that I'm doing so well and made such an incredible recovery uh, but more I feel like I have hope again that that I have hope for the future for living really out of my dream and what's really important to me I realize how hard it is for women and maybe everybody but to really even dream like it's scary to even go for something and to be passionate about something but I'm so passionate about music always have been and I'm excited to share these with the world and see where they go <laughs> I don't know if I'll ever get over my fears I mean I'm scared a lot of the times <laughs> but I just keep going anyway and keep doing things anyway if I'm scared or not scared so even if you're scared you gotta go for it and I'm so glad I just went for it and I'm doing this I'm very, very grateful.